offices to Haiti, Kenya has formally established diplomatic relations with the Caribbean nation. President William Ruto and Haiti President Prime Minister Ariel Henry witnessed the signing of the agreement at the Kenyan mission in New York, United States. Ruto, who is in the United States for the United Nations General Assembly, stressed on African nations being part of the conversation on climate change. Ruto has said it's time countries that pollute the environment through emitting carbon air to be taxed. He says implementing a carbon tax on fossil fuels and carbon credits can raise the resources to unlock Africa's renewable energy potential, which is enough to accelerate the global transition towards cleaner, sustainable energy sources. Unlike other regions, Africa has no need to choose between satisfying new demand and decarbonizing existing capacity because our existing capacity is very low. We can leapfrog straight into a fully green industrial paradigm. Our commitment is categorical. We are ready, prepared, and eager to do our part in full in setting global production and consumption on an ecologically sustainable path. Yet, we cannot and must not do this on our own. Ruto was speaking during a discussion forum hosted by Fauna and Flora International CEO Christian Teleki in New York, United States. In addition, President William Ruto has emphasized that Africans' great need is not help but to be included at the discussion table as well as being given equal representation opportunities. He claims that Africa is ready to be accountable towards the projects being launched to deal with climatic change effects. Neither Africa nor the developing world stands in need of charity, handouts or harms from the developed countries. What we need is fairness, a fair financial system, fair market access for green assets, products and services, fair national regional trade mechanisms which promote fair competition to facilitate efficient deployment of capital in locations offering the highest comparative advantage for global decarbonization. However, Ruto has admitted that some of the issues discussed weeks ago at the Climate Change Summit conference in Nairobi will require the cooperation of every nation in the world to achieve its proposals. Global collective action is urgently required to transform the institutional architecture of international financial systems and mobilize the necessary capital that will forge the golden key of investment. The declaration therefore proposes a pathway towards a global climate financing charter by 2025. Brother, how are you? I'm very good. Later, President William Ruto went to witness a diplomatic relation signing deal with the country of Haiti and the company of her Prime Minister, Errol Henry. This agreement was signed by Minister Jean Victor Genus and the Cabinet Secretary for Foreign Affairs in Kenya, Alfred Mutua. This will facilitate cooperation in areas of mutual interest. Ruga Evil, Look Up TV. Thank you, Ruga. Now, the body of a 